All right, hello everybody. I'm gonna do a live stream for y'all. And, oops, didn't mean to get out of that. Okay, this lets me know that it's still streaming because sometimes when I live stream, it cuts me off. I don't know if it's our Wi-Fi or what. Okay, I'm gonna do a homecoming mom. I'm gonna do a mini mom. I'm trying to do a few uh, ready-made homecoming moms, just probably mini uh, girls and peewee moms to put on my Etsy shop. But for those people that are looking for one last minute or one that they can just add some things to, so I'm gonna to try to do a few of them. I can't do a whole lot of them, of course, because then I've got to store them all. So I can't do, like I said, I can't do a ton of them, but I will do as many as I can. And so I've done a royal blue peewee garter and I've done a, a Kelly green or emerald green girls mom, mini mom. So I wanna do probably a red, and a orange and probably do more girls than the boys because I had, well last year I had more orders for girls but that doesn't always mean that every year you're gonna have that many. So it's, it's kind of hard to um, know what to make in advance for this type of stuff because you don't know who's gonna order what. So it's, you always have to be prepared to um, store stuff that you make in advance. I'm trying to get a good, some good light in here to see how that does. So, and I think I will do a, like a three or a four inch packer, probably a four inch packer, like I did the green one. Let's see, these are just ribbon spool ends, so this is about a four inch. do a, an orange one today. Of course our school colors are orange so if it doesn't sell on Etsy it might sell locally as well so I have a double shot at selling it. So on the peewees I like to go 12 inches for the length of the ribbon streamers and braids and chains but of course you want to cut a little bit over that so you have room to attach it to your backer and then you know I taper them so I always want to go a little longer on the middle one a little shorter as you taper them and this is a two and a half inch width and so I'm gonna do it should take five of these And for the last two, I will cut them a little bit shorter as well. And then I'll double up the ribbon with a smaller ribbon on top of it. This is a little bit different design than what I've been doing in the past for the PVs. And I'll still do those, but I just want to change it up a little bit and show you guys some other things. Hello, Denise. How are you? Glad you could join in on my spontaneous live stream. I tell you what, one of the reasons why I don't like doing li our live streams is because Google makes it so difficult for me to do one. I spend 10-15 minutes just trying to start my live streams because I have to verify that it's me on the GoPro and it makes me do it on this old tablet that doesn't want to work right and so I've got to figure that out. And it does it every single time. Hey, Connie, it's a Southern Cottage. How are you? Yes, you caught me live. I'm doing a little pee or mini mum. So I'm gonna flip those over and start with the middle one, the longest one. I love this mat. It really helps me to keep everything more straight and even. So. And it doesn't have to be exact 12 inches. That's just kind of my guide to go by. Oh, 
Ugh. Last year was depressing, wasn't it? I didn't make very many for local either. It was just like a handful, honestly. It wasn't very many. It was like a handful for this school and a handful for this school, and that was it. I think it was two local schools that I did, and that was it. And usually I do up to like four or five local schools, and I only had two. Hello? I'm... Okay, that says one, and I don't know how to say the rest of that. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm horrible at these YouTube names. And I'm going to cut a dovetail on the bottom of these. Now, Denise, if it wasn't for uh, Etsy, I wouldn't have made very many at all. Oh, that's so good, Connie. I'm glad you were on. I have those days too where I binge watch crafting tutorials, especially when I'm not motivated to do any of my own. And I need some inspiration. So I layered those over the middle one. You can cut different designs on the bottom of these to get different looks. I like to make sure that I'm layered. That way when they're wearing it, there's no gaps between the ribbons. That really bothers me. So I can go a little bit further, but I still want to make sure that's overlapped. I'm hoping so. This year should be better. Then of course, I don't know what Etsy's going to be like. I mean, it could be like way crazier or it uh, could be like nothing. Maybe everybody was ordering off Etsy because they couldn't, they were last minute and didn't have time to make themselves anything. I mean, I don't know. It's just so weird. You never know about stuff like that, like how business is going to do. And look at that. I stapled that and it moved on me. So sometimes you can kind of pull on them a little bit and get them back where you want them. Yeah, it's still good. I always hold these things up to make sure that they are looking good because of course they're going to wear it and it's going to be upright so you want to know what it's going to look like. Okay, so that's as wide as I'm going to make it, which is about 10 and a half inches wide. This shows me that my stream is still going on. Because like I said, I have been kicked off before and I didn't even know it because my screen on my GoPro goes black. There's a red dot that flashes, but I don't pay attention to that while I'm crafting. So if I go look at that, I know I'm still going. <laughs> okay, so now I want to go over this with either white or black or both. This is a polypropylene, but it's just like the acetate. It's a little bit shinier, this one is. They're all different, so you have to be careful where you order them from. I actually got this one from my wholesaler, and it turned out to be a pretty decent one. So that's what I look like with the white. And I can do, again, I can do black as well, and I could go over black, black, and white. Because when I do orange, I like to do orange, black, and white. Okay. Uh, Connie says, in case these chats don't come back through, I try to keep them where they will show back up. But Connie's saying, I've noticed that you use way less ribbons than I do. I think I'm wasting a lot of ribbon and adding too many layers. Okay. Yeah, um... That's one of the things when I started out 
was, um, you know, some people want a bunch of layers and if they do request it, then I'll make a bunch of layers. But I, um, I try not to use a lot of layers of ribbons because first of all, it keeps the weight down. Um, to me, it's a, a waste of money because, um, you know, I like to fill them in and layer them so I make sure that they're good and layered so you can't see gaps and I think that's part of the reason why you put so many layers is so it looks full but if you're layering them like this where they're when you're holding it up they you don't see any gaps it's going to look full and so you've got more weight for your braids and stuff like that and your pretty ribbons so when I make like a, a big mom I do more layers of course you've I know you've seen that Connie and then I'll do like a layer of I'll do like two or three layers of these kind of ribbons and then I'll do a layer of like glitter ribbons or you know sports ball ribbons and then I'll do my braids and chains and of course little ribbons in and out of there too. So the bigger mums I do use more ribbons but with these mini mums one of the ways that I kept the cost down while I started making these was to make something more affordable, especially for the younger kids. And then I found more and more people wanted them for the older kids as well, and they liked the price point on it. So using one layer of ribbons, or in this case two, it, I'm able to keep that price point down and make them more affordable for people. So that's why I do that. But you do what you want and how your customers like them. It's just up to you. But um, I have found, you know, I started making these. Somebody, I think it was somebody local needed one, like last minute. And, um, you know, I'd made a few mini ones, but I threw one together in like an hour. And so I made sure that they were layered and I just did one layer of ribbons and it was a huge hit. And that's how that started, this design started. And I found that so many people like it and they like the price point. So yeah, that's why we do that or I do that. So keep that in mind with yours. But like I said, on the, the bigger mums, I use more layers than that. And I have had people order these mini ones and then want them longer. Um, and I warn them, you know, it's only one layer of ribbons unless it's this design where it's two. But last year on um, Etsy, I think I only did the one layer ones. And I said, you know, it might look, it might not look as good if it's longer, but they ended up turning out looking good too with that I think it was like five or six extra inches it looks a little different um I think it would look better with two layers of ribbons but that's what they wanted and what they paid it for so that's what I got them and I'm liking this design too I think this will look good uh for anybody that wants the longer one as well since it's got two layers But this year I got a lot more ribbons in the two and a half, kind of two and a half, two point seven five inch width, different colors. I got, um, I've got purple and orange and gray and burgundy and red. I had red last year, but I've got royal blue. Um, I got silver and gold. I can't remember what other color. I don't know if I have any other colors, but. Since I have more colors in this wide one, that's how that's why I'm doing this little different design. I could still layer them where this was in between as a different look too, but I did this with that green one and I really like the way it turned out, so I'm gonna do some more like that design. So now I'm gonna do black. And I, this time, instead of attaching in the center and then working my way out, I want the center ribbons to be showing more. Or actually, I think I want these ribbons to be on top because I'll have, um, well, see, that depends too. Like, how am I going to put my braid? Am I only going to do one braid or am I going to do two, like here and here? So that's how I'm going to decide because I want those, the last two ribbons that I put on, I want those to be um, four stickers for their names the year the school whatever so i want those to be on top to be able to use those more of that because these are going to get covered up a little bit more so you want those last last ribbon or the last two ribbons to be on top so you have more space for that so let me cut some black ribbon over here if i can find my ruler
that's definitely a different look. Something, again, unique. Um, I could do all just two colors, but like I said, I really like to do three colors with this orange. For some reason, I just like the orange with the black and white. So I need to decide again, am I gonna just do a braid in the center or am I gonna do two small braids? And I think I'm just gonna do one in the center. So I'm gonna make sure that these are showing. And then I still have plenty of room here to add stickers. So I'm gonna make that, like I am gonna add um, on these ready-made moms that I have on my Etsy shop, I'm gonna go ahead and put homecoming in the year but I wanna leave space for them to either put stickers themselves or they, I'm gonna give them top, the option to add a personalization, you know, for me to do stickers for them and trinkets. So I wanna make sure that these ribbons I'm attaching are centered on the ribbon I'm attaching it on top of. And I wanna cut these shorter. I don't want them covering up that orange. I want that orange showing. That's why I'm cutting them shorter. straight again you can kind of pull on that and make it go where you want it to of course when they're wearing it too it's not going to be exact either and I'm just kind of eyeballing how far up that I'm cutting them pre-cut these. I don't know why I flipped that over. Didn't need to. See, sometimes when you staple those, they just go another direction. Moved it, I guess. I just want it close to being centered. Well, I cut that one way shorter. So again, I'll do some kind of braid in the center. I'm not sure which one, probably something simple you know, like a spirit chain or a three ribbon spirit chain or the victory braids, something like that. I usually don't do anything complicated on these mini mums either because, uh, again, the way they're priced, I don't want to do anything that takes a ton of ribbon or something that takes a ton of time or I'm losing money on it. So I do simple braids. I prefer the flat braids usually. If I'm just doing one in the center, I just, for some reason, I think they look a lot better, um, especially for the boys. But I am working on three mini mums for girls, and they are seniors. And I decided to give them loop chains. I got, so I made these three loop chains, and I am going to show videos for these. I videoed all of them. It's just a double loop chain, which I've done a video on that before, but I've never shown one where I tripled the ribbons, triple layered the ribbons. And with the, this is, a, I don't know if you can tell, but it's navy and red. But with the more navy than red, I really love the way that one turned out. And then that's a, that side loop chain and that I've shown before, but 
instead of leaving, usually I leave gaps in between, but since it's for a small mum, and because I'm using acetate and not, uh, you know, usually I do like a pretty glitter ribbon in the background. So anyway, I attached them all together, like butted them up together. So it made it look a little bit different. And then I've shown this one before as well. So of course I'll put something, some kind of bling to cover up those staples. And then I also got this made yesterday, one of the backers for it. And I will show that too as well. So I haven't done a lot of navy and red ones, so I was excited about that. And they're for seniors. And they do not live in Texas, so that makes it more fun too when it's someone not used to them. One of the moms is from Texas, so that's how she knew about moms. Okay, so let me get another backer. And I can do the top part. And usually when I start, I really don't have a plan on what I'm going to do with it. I just really start making it and just kind of let it make itself. So I'm sometimes I have a plan, but most of the time I don't. It kind of depends on what size ribbons I have, what designs. And then I just start making it. So usually for the minimums, I go five inches for any loops. Guess what I'm doing? I'm gonna do orange, white, and then black. And I might leave enough space where I could add some silver on top of that too. So again, this is two and a half. This is the one in 0.3 inch width, and this is the seven eighths inch. So I can still do a five inch, five eighths or a three eighths, or even smaller that, than that on top of that. So something blingy or um, something with a design on it. Like maybe a gingham or something, if I don't wanna do sparkly. So you can center these up, of course that's a very classic thing to do, make your loop like that, or you can move it to one side or the other. Like that, that gives it a little bit different unique look. And then I think it was last year or the year before, I did this. So from one corner to the next and then make your loop. Try to line those up so it gives it even more of a unique look. And you have to give it two staples when you do this so you're stapling both ends on. And it does help to go ahead and pre-staple these when you've made so many layers before you start attaching. What I like about this, not only is it a little bit unique and different, you don't have to make sure that they're all perfectly exactly the same. You know, when you do them like this, I always match each one up and make sure that they're all the same so it doesn't look funny. So when you do it like this, it doesn't have to be as exact. So you have more room for error.
look at that. We got 10 people watching and I did not announce this. One of these days I'm going to announce uh, <laughs> a live stream. I just got to get more organized. Okay. So that's going to be, and of course it's the little backer, so it's going to fill up fast. This is just a little under four inches, and of course it's not really a backer, it's a ribbon spool end. These are the good ones, they're nice and sturdy. The ones that um, wired ribbons come on that you get at mostly craft stores, and they have the plastic ends in them, and you can just pull them off. I think I'll show you. Like these, where that's plastic and that's plastic. These make the best ones. Sometimes they are really difficult to get off and sometimes they come right off. But, say like that. And I do use some of the ones that you pull off that are glued, as long as they're thick. If they're like the Dollar Tree ones, those don't work very well. They're really thin. So make sure they're these good thick ones. That's not the one I wanted to use anyway. I wanted to use this one since it's messed up there. And you can, I don't know if I have a small enough roll. I do have a little tip about drawing a circle on there to help you line up your, your loops, but that's really not, since that's pretty small. That's still not very, I'll do it anyway. It'll help a little bit. So just try to make it centered and draw your circle. Just kind of give you, hi Sylvia, how are you? Just kind of gives you a guide on where you're attaching these at. And of course you can go like this to kind of make sure you're centered up. You could even look at that and see. <laughs> it's right there and I'm looking everywhere for it. And then I like to go, like I said, I've always said in all these videos, if you guys watch North, South, East and West, East and, east and West, <laughs> it just, for me, it just works for me. I like to know, you know just doing the opposites for some reason works for me for attaching them more evenly. So that looks centered. You can even kind of go like this if you really want to go get into it. And you can kind of see, I can kind of see where my points with that circle. See my points are there and I was too far over that way. So I can go like this, but to me it looks crooked now. So my loop probably isn't cut straight. So sometimes it's just better to go ahead and eyeball that sucker. I mean, they don't have to be perfect, but you do want them to look nice. See, it's not going to take much to fill this in. I still need to do something here because you still will be able to see that a little bit. And you can flip it over too to kind of see if they look like they're the same distance off. They look pretty straight to me. Again, it's not perfect, but it looks pretty good. So now I have to decide what to do in there, and I will probably do black and white. So I don't want to do orange in between orange, since this is mostly orange. And I think I'll do black 1.3 inch, and then white 7 8 8 inch.
I put um, a listing on my Etsy shop for acetate ribbons since I got so many this year and I got so many different colors and I bought extras of the black and white. So if anybody, I mean, it's not, you know, it, it would be cheaper for you to buy a roll yourself from Amazon or somewhere. But if you're just needing a little bit, um, I have that listing if you guys are interested. So I know when you're just making, you know, like mums for your kids or just a handful of mums or even just one and, you know, you're looking for them like at Michael's or Hobby Lobby or something, sometimes you just can't find them. Plus, I think mine are, should be cheaper. Um, at least the smaller ribbons are. I just when I do the loop in between, I just want to make sure that these spaces look the same. That I've got the same amount in between there. And then give that two staples. Now it does look kind of silverish when you put white on top of black and you could double that up to make it look even more crisp, um, which I think I'm going to do because I don't usually do that. See if I can take that off without destroying it. The only thing about doubling them up is you gotta make sure that they're straight. I painted my nails for you guys and I've already, just from doing this, I've already wrecked them. That's why I don't hardly ever paint my nails. So as soon as I start crafting, there they go. Okay. I don't know if you guys can tell the difference in that or not, but it looked, you know, it really looked silverish, um, but now it really looks crisply white. that's not going to be seen but sometimes it makes it easier to attach them evenly if it's all clean at the bottom like that and you just want to make sure that too about how much distance you're coming off I've got them in a little bit each layer I usually go in a little bit more okay so let me cut some more of those one and then doubled up it looks much more white you can thank uh, all about the mums for that tip
So what kind of things would you guys like to see in the future for live streams? Like what kind of homecoming stuff? I got a request the other day for, um, not necessarily live stream, but another double military braid. That was a difficult one to do a tutorial for, but it might be easier actually on a live stream so people could ask questions as I'm making it. See how cute that is? Now I can glue. You can leave it like that or you can glue pretty ribbons in there if you want. It looks good just like that, but you can also step it up if you want. Let me see what kind of pattern ribbons I have. You guys remember that video I did, um, the ribbon storage, the easy ribbons. I don't know if you can see this box, you can a little bit. I've got some extra acetates in here where the dowel rods are going through. It's so much nicer because my ribbon things are full. And then I've got so many like decorative ribbons, so many little pretty ribbons. So I really need some other kind of storage and I've got this. I know, don't tell the UPS that I, it was a damaged box when I used it. But I've got a tons of these boxes stacked up now this year, but I needed them. I've got so many ribbons. And here was the one with the basket, which I could buy a bunch of these baskets and do them. And here's orange and white and an orange glitter. Green and gold. That's a lot of gold and some glitters. I don't have a lot of orange in these things, I guess. Nope. You guys know I have a ton of orange, but they're all over here behind here. I like the idea of the gingham here, but I have black and white, and I'd like to find it. I don't know if I put it over here. That's the problem too. I can't. Rem I keep reorganizing these things, and I can't find anything. I'm not seeing the black and white. I don't know what I did with it. Oh, here's one though. I love this ribbon, this black and white to use on stuff. I think it came from Michael's if I remember right. It's a soft satin. Oh, I bet that looks awesome, those cur curtain rods on walls. I need to make better use of my wall space. I put up some of those hooks, um, the 3M hooks that you can remove easily, the plastic hooks. I've got some of those up on the wall and I've got like um, uh, my boas and then tinsel hanging from them and some other odd and ends. But I would love to have curtain rods on the walls, especially like to hang the mums that I've made that would be awesome for that too. But I've got all this upper wall space that, but then again, this room is open and it's in the middle of my home. And so, and there's the front door. <laughs> so whenever somebody walks in, this is what they see, this mess. And I'm done apologizing for it because I'm just over it. So I'm gonna do this orange gingham and you could do that. See, I mean, you get completely different looks by however you layer these. So if I did that on that, I would get one look. And then if I did it over there and that one on there, you get a completely different look. So it's real easy to change up your looks just from these little decorative ribbons.
This gingham came from Dollar Tree. They have so many different colors of gingham and then like small buffalo check too. Um, there's a blue one, there's a pink one. And I've got, there's red and white, black and white. I don't know that they have orange and black. I wish they did. And then of course that baby blue and the pink. Um, they have the emerald green and white. Now I'm seeing the black and white. I just found it. That's okay. This thing should be hot. This thing is um, really, really old. Can you guys tell? I can't believe it still works. And it was from Walmart. <laughs> I just read the last message. That's my husband, y'all. <laughs> he must be responding to me saying curtain rods on the walls. <laughs> Gosh, that was funny. <laughs> okay, I think I'm gonna do, oops, I'm gonna start at the back. And I could go underneath that, but all oh, that's gonna be covered. I don't care. See, I could go like that and cover that up, but like I said, the flower's gonna cover that up. It doesn't really matter. Yet. I just try to get that as close to the edge as I can. I don't really want to, you know, want to be careful about gluing that down because later I'm going to have to go in with the stapler. So I try not to glue too much down. See that one I did good. I still got space. That one kind of glued. So as long as you get it like right up against it, it's fine. Or even if it's like right here, it's fine because it is the back side. And you could add these as you make the loops, but um, you actually use less of the ribbon when you do it this way. I don't know if you can tell, but that loop is kind of going that way. So I'm gonna add another staple. Sometimes that's all it needs. There, that's better. See the staple was, you know, sideways or kind of crooked. So it was leaving too much room and it was making the loop go like this. So sometimes you just need to add another staple to make it look better.
think my favorite colors are orange, black, and white. And I think it's just, it's probably because it's our school colors here. But I just love the combos with the black and white and all the designs you can do. I just think the orange looks so good with black and white. So it's like my favorite. I do love purples too though. I like to do purple mums. But I'll tell you, when we moved here, I was like, ugh, orange, really? <laughs> oh, so glad you got to join in, Connie. You are very welcome. Have a good day at work. to attach this I can do it like this where the loop is up and down where it's the north south east and west and you get this look from it here let me turn that around but doing something as simple as moving it this way where the small ones are north south east and west and these ones are you know going in between diagonal gives it a whole new look uh, it's actually one of my favorite ways to attach them now I just think it, it looks different and you could also just attach it, you know, with no rhyme or reason. It may look weird to you, but that's up to you. When I make uh, backers that aren't all like this, where there's four of the same and four of the same, when I just do like different loops and, and you know, ends and stuff and I just do like a crazy one, then I'll just kind of move it all around and decide which way I want it to be up and which way I want down. But when I do like this pattern where there's an even amount, you know, like four loops, four big loops, four small loops, then I'll move it around. Then I usually do like a north, south, east, and west like this or like this. Or like I said, my favorite is to actually have the big ones going diagonal. I just, I think it softens the mum for some reason. I don't know if you guys agree with that or not, but to me, it just makes it look softer and uh, more feminine. So definitely for the girls, for the for a guy's mom, you could do it like this. To me, it's, I don't know, it just looks softer to me. You guys tell me your opinion. Okay, so I need to decide on a chain to make for it. And then I can attach that. And I'll probably, and then I can attach some bells or trinkets and stuff. Sometimes I just glue them on. Sometimes I do a ribbon and have them hanging. So I also have to think about that before I attach everything. So, and of course I don't know the links off the top of my head for these braids. I always go to my Sorry, that was frozen. So I go into my playlists all the time and look up. So I did organize my braids differently. I don't know if you guys can see my computer or not. So I had just like, I had one that had all the braids and chains and I had one that had, um, let me look at all of them. Then I had one that was like unique braids and chains and one that was classic, but I still had so many in those playlists. So I decided, um, since I've got so many braids and chains, I decided to make some playlists that were more um, condensed down. So I did one that's just victory braids, one that's loop chains and name chains, ones that uh, bubble gum, spirit and Texas chains, heart and flower chains, uh, box braids, love chains, candy cane, military, whip. Um, I think that's it. Yeah. So if you're looking for a specific braid, look in these playlists, like and you, if you're looking for um, a victory braid or a spirit chain or whatever, you can just go to that playlist and then you can see, of course it's just going to play on. Uh, I'm still not used to using this computer. 
Okay, no, I don't want to play them all. I want to view them. Okay, so on the victory, I have five in here. So I've got three on how to make the braid and no, that one's one, two. So four to make the braid and one to decorate the braid, I believe. Seems like I have another one that's not in here. I need to check and make sure I got them all in here. So just find whichever one you're wanting. That's the regular one. I got the candy cane stripe one. So we'll go in here and then look in the description. Where is it at? Okay. It's not showing me the description for some reason. Let's try that one. Okay. I don't know if it's because I'm in the playlist or what, but it's not letting me look at the description. It's usually right here. Anyway. So anyway, I use these as my guide for um, doing or for looking up the sizes or lengths that I need because I uh, I used to have a notebook or I still have it with you know all the different instructions and stuff on how to make braids, but I just go into my videos now because why look all that up when I can just go into you know these videos and look it up. So let's see what I did recently. I've done whip braids. You could just look under the videos. There's the military braid, the love chain. There's another orange and black backer I did similar. And I knew I could have just used that for that one, but I wanted to make a new one. So that's what I do. Let's go back to my live stream. So, I don't know. I'm thinking either a three ribbon spirit chain or a victory braid because victory braids are easy to do. So for a 16 inch, I need about 24 inches, but I don't need it that long. I don't have for 12 inch in here for some reason. Let me look at another one for a victory braid. I don't have it for some reason. I can't believe I don't have that size. So um, I'm thinking 20 to 22 inches would definitely be enough for Victor Gray. And let's see, I think my oranges are over here. Yep. So I've only cut two. I cut them double the length I needed. Let me show you why. There's another way to start these braids. I've only done it a couple of times, so hopefully I won't screw it up. So kind of think like a spirit chain here. I want to find the center. Center, not center. And then just make like an arrow. And then I 
again with this one. good. Let's see if I remember how to do it. Like I said, I only did this a couple of times. So you want to, I think you start it like this. And then, let's see. No, that one needs to be on top. Let me try to remember. Or basket weave them at the beginning. Yeah. Push them up together. Well, I don't want to go past that where that's creased off. I probably need to keep that one there too. Okay, so I just basket weave them. And I'm gonna turn it this way. Let me get this. my acrylic ruler is just so freaking big. Dang, come on, I keep getting out of that. There. Oh, here. You guys can still see it through that acrylic ruler, which I like. Okay, so this one needs to be on top because it's going to start. So the very right one needs to be on top because it's going to be braiding first. It needs to go under these two. And this is what I'm worried about because it needs to be, now it wants to go that way. Let me make sure I got these together right. need to be instead of this one and that one going like that they need to be more together so just look at that very first crease you're gonna make it just you need to be able to make it along this ribbon if that makes sense The good thing about doing it like this is you don't have to do four separate ribbons, but like I said, I haven't done it enough to really have the pattern down on how to start it. So again, you want that pulled as snug as you can without wrinkling this ribbon here. And then you want it tucked up. And then I just keep moving my ruler down. And whichever ribbon is on top is the one that gets braided next. And again, you wanna push that up, tuck those together, because you want them nice and snug, each one. So you don't want any gaps right there. Now this one's on top, so it goes next. I just keep moving my ruler down. It flattens it out, so it gives it some good creases, but it also keeps it where I need it to be. So you see I'm pushing that up to tuck it up there as close as I can, pulling it as snug as I can without wrinkling this ribbon. Good creases. Good creases will make it look good. So two different ways to do this 
start this braid. It's up to you which one you like better. I think I will like this way better once I get the hang of it and I've done it a few times. Plus it makes that nice end and so you could use that as the, the bottom if you wanted to. So I'm just going under these middle two, pushing that up, making sure it's pulled snug, creasing it, and then it goes over and under the last one, and then it goes back over this one. A lot of these braids are just really basically a type of basket weave. You're going up over and under, over and under. We'll see how I did on the length of this as well. I love this braid. I think it's um, a good homecoming mom braid. It's pretty and then it's easy to make. It doesn't take a ton of ribbon. It doesn't take a ton of time. Once you get it down, it's really easy to make. Easy to make uh, look nice. So once I get this done real quick, I'm going to end this live stream. We've been on for a little over an hour. So I need to finish it up. I'll just let me finish this real quick and I'll attach it and then we will be done. And I may hold off on finishing this mom until I can do another live stream or video tutorial because, like I said, it's not for anybody. It's just to go on my Etsy shop. You could double up these white ribbons too so you wouldn't see that color underneath. And I keep, it's just a habit to do one color for me. So I haven't gotten the habit of doing that. And I hate, I don't know why, when you make this braid, a lot of braids, You'll have one that's really short and one that's really long. Do not ask me why. I don't know why it happens. It's just the way it is. But it is 12 inches, so I am good to go. Staple that one. And I'm just going to tuck. I'm going to crease that one. I'm going to make it where you can't see it. And cut it off. This is the back side. Fold that one over. Give it a staple there in the center to hold those in place. Cut that one off. Okay. I usually like that one to be a little bit longer, but that's okay. That, like I said, that could be top. use this to really flatten it out. If you really want to flatten these braids out, um, put it on a hard surface and then put a bunch of hardcover, three or four hardcover books, leave it overnight and you, they will come out so flat and so like they've been pressed. So like the Texas uh, braids, you know, those tend to like curl in on the sides because of those points you make. So if you can lay those down and leave them overnight, they look so good the next day. So I try to do that with those, those braids. Let me see. That's okay. But I'll be covering that up. I always do something, you know, on the bottom of these chains. Like a, a bow or you could do a trinket. A tinsel puff. Um... Feather puff, you know, there's so many options, so many different fun things you could do. I just want to make sure it's nice and centered. And then again, I'll do my backer here like this. And the reason why I did orange and white is because I knew the black was going to show out uh, or show underneath that as wide as this chain was going to be or braid so I knew I didn't want to do black and blend in with that I did orange and white that way the black would stand out and make the braid stand out of course it doesn't 
down here as much, but most of it does. So you think about the colors that you're going to have underneath your braids and, sh and chains. You want them to stand out and pop. There's been some that I've done where I wasn't happy with them, you know, because I did like red on red or something and they just didn't pop, but it may have been like a last minute mum and I didn't really have time to fix it. You know, these people that want a mum that week and I'm rushing to make them, I just can't put in what I want to put in on them and so they kind of get what they get. And I have to just deal with it because I really want them perfect and I have to not make myself make them perfect because I don't always have the time or you know, maybe the money, I can't make each one perfect as much as I want to. So that's what it looks like right now. Again, I will work on this at a later time, do some fun stuff. Um, I could do orange stickers or black stickers. I think black would probably pop more. And then I could do pretty little bows going down. I mean, just whatever. You're doing lots of fun stuff with this. So again, I'll work on this on a later time, but I'm gonna go for now. We've been on for a little over an hour. I'm glad you guys could join in. I think we were up to like 11 or 12 at one point. So that was awesome, especially for being spontaneous like this. I'm so glad y'all chatted and watched. I appreciate each and every one of you. Um, like I said, you can comment and make a request on videos you'd like to see. If there's some that I've already done but you still don't understand what it is um, or how to do it, I can, I'm always trying to upgrade these videos, redo them and make them better. Um, you know, I've got different video equipment now too, so I can do things a little bit better now, I think. And then more editing skills, so I just comment on any of my videos and I'll get back to you and try to uh, work on whatever ones you want me to. Sometimes, you know, I'm busy with uh, custom orders so I can't do what you want me to do then, but I'll try to make a list and, you know, get to it at some point before homecoming season or during homecoming season. And I am going to try to do some live streams during homecoming season this year, so hopefully I can help you all out with some stuff so you guys can see what I'm working on. And then you can ask me any questions and hopefully I can help you all out. But thank you all so much for watching um, and have a good day.